the prisons have always been overcrowded and Kwando prison is not exempted. So even before COVID-19, we have always been complaining that uh, the place is overcrowded. But that notwithstanding, with the advent of COVID-19, some measures have been taken to assist us and ensure that we don't get the virus in, the, in our prison. We are following the protocols as spelled out by the government, the washing of hands, use of sanitizers. We've given all the prisoners nose masks, all officers have nose masks. We try a little bit of social distancing, even though it's not possible, especially during the night, because of the number of inmates in the room. It's virtually not possible to do social distancing. But during the day, we try as much as possible to spread them as much as we can. The major difficulty we have is that we have not stopped admitting prisoners, which is a very big danger, because we don't know what the new admission is bringing. And we have no way of determining whether the person is positive or negative. So it's a very big risk that we take in continuously admitting people. And that is the area we wish something could be done about it. We wish, if possible, before any new admissions are made, the court to ensure that the status of the person is determined before the person is committed to uh, uh, prison custody. In other words, as part of the sentencing review, the court could request for the status of whoever they are going to uh, sentence to be determined so that if the person is negative, then we can easily accept the person. And then when it's positive, the necessary measures could be taken. As it is now, we, 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 we are taking a very big risk in admitting new people when we are not too sure of their status.